children come up and take the offering. And he blessed it, and he broke it, 
and he fed all of the people. Now listen, do you know how many people there were there? Over a thousand? Nine Think about it. Turn around and ask these adults and ask them if they know. Yeah, they're looking at you. What does the Bible say? There's 5,000 men plus women and children. So we're talking a lot, a lot of people that were fed by just a couple of loaves and fishes. How did Jesus do that? He's magical? Yes. What do you think? How do you do it? Because he likes to help people and he would do anything for them. He really wants to help. Very good. Very well said. How do you think um, he did it? He lost the food. And I think there's another story in the book about how he turned like a fish and like a little of bread and fed it to over a thousand people. Uh huh. Uh huh. Now listen. These guys are right. Let me ask you adults. How did Jesus feed all those people with just those few fish? Jesus prayed to his Father, blessed it, and passed out. Now what Jesus had was faith. Right? What Jesus had was faith, and Jesus believed that that small lunch could feed all those people. Yes. He had determination. So listen, you guys need to have the same thing. You need to have determination, right? You need to have faith that Jesus hears you, that Jesus loves you, and that no matter how old you are, that you can be a help to Jesus. But listen, the thing that you need to remember most is what she said and what she said. And that is that Jesus likes to help people. Is that right? And that Jesus loves you and he will help you whenever you call him. Okay? Do you guys have friends? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Who's your friend? Everybody in Riley. Everybody in school is your friend. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> that Riley's your friend? What would happen if you didn't talk to Riley for like three weeks? Would you still be friends? Why? What happens if you didn't see Riley for like two years? Would it be hard to stay friends with him? And you're still friends? Yeah. Listen, Jesus is the same way. Your friend, what are you going to say? Are you still friends? Now, adults, you haven't seen one of your friends for five years. Are you still friends? <laughs> it all depends on what kind of friend it was, right? Because again, friendships take time. <laughs> friendships take time. Takes you talking to that person and spending time with that person, right? So listen, this is this is important because Jesus is the same way. Jesus is your friend, and he's just as much of your, a friend to you as Riley is, as your friend is in England, but you have to talk to him, you have to spend time with him, and you have to know that he's actually real. Okay? Yes? Actually, Riley is a girl, and my friend is a boy, and they're all boys. Really? Yes. Or you could just say them. Them. Don't you love the way they think? Oh, that's okay. I'll tell you this one last thing and then I'll let you go. There was a bunch of kids that was asked to explain God. Okay? They were all about your age. And one of the children said, well, you know, Jesus, Jesus did like all the heavy work. He would do things like walk on water and help people and turn fish into like one or two fish into thousands of fish. But he helped people and he did such a good job that God, he asked God if he could come back home and God said yes. And so God took him back home, and now Jesus is up in heaven, and he does not as much heavy work, but what he does up in heaven is like listen to your prayers and answer your prayers. Don't you love how kids think? Now, if you were asked an adult to explain God, do you think it would be that simple? Yeah. Right? So listen, always remember that God loves you. Jesus came and died and lived for you, 
And Jesus wants you to give your hearts to Him. Right? On a day-to-day -day basis, just like your mommy and daddy have to do, you have to do the same thing. Okay, let's have a word of prayer and you guys go back to your seats. Heavenly Father, I thank you for these children here. I thank you for the blessing that they are to this church. Lord, we pray for children and you have heard our prayers and you have blessed us. I pray that you be with each one of them, that you bless them as they grow, that you continue to work in their lives and on their hearts. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys.